everyone. So today I'm back at you with a haul. I'm going to start this video with a little shout out and also kind of an answer to a question. Um, Katie 3000, I think it's two I's and two E's or one or the other. Um, she's a YouTuber here and she does beauty and fashion, lovely fashion things. I just wanted to say that she is really, really good. I'm becoming quite friendly with her and she gave me a shout out recently and I don't tend to do them, but um, she it really deserves it. She's amazing and she needs a few more subscribers because she's really good. Also, um, in answer to a question you asked me, Katie, uh, mm, the palette, the MAC palette, I did make myself because you can just pop them in and out. So yeah, now I'll get started. Um, I, this is just like a massive makeup haul. I have like Superdrug, uh, Boots and MAC as well, which is a nice little bit at the end. Um, I don't know which one to do first. Maybe I'll do MAC first. Right, so... I went there and I didn't want to spend too much because I always get carried away and I didn't have enough money to go crazy so I've got a few things in here um, I've packaged, I've used everything so I can tell you what I think as well um, I'll just start with the eyeshadows so the same as my last haul because I think one of their best things are the eyeshadows really oh my god, I'm like throwing things around um, I bought four pan eyeshadows and they're not in here they're in a palette that I'm going to show you because I thought that would be easy if I just put them in a palette so I only got four because now I have a full palette here and a full four palette. So if I buy any more, I'm gonna have to buy another one of these because I don't want them in the pans. Let me just show you this palette actually. I've just bought some magnets for it. I love it. I think it works really well. So um, I'm really content and happy with the matte colors I have now. Okay, so here are the four colors that I bought. Um, I love this little um, four quad, whatever it is. I think it's really lovely so um yeah it looks like this but i'll show you them individually um the first one is something i've wanted to get for ages and i kept every time i went i was like i must remember to get club i must remember to get club and every time i just forgot it one thing about getting the pan is that it doesn't tell you what formulation it is so i can i reckon i know it's a duochrome but it's like a satin or a frost like i literally have no idea if it doesn't show you so um i'll just come in close and show you this so this is club and um it's a duochrome so basically it looks green in the tin but it's kind of brown when you put it on and then i think when you put it on wet i haven't done that yet but it has like purple green brown every single color in it it's amazing um yeah it's so beautiful so i'll do swatches at the end this is arena which is a kind of peachy orangey um color and this is just for all over the lid because i found that i have all the my lid colours are a bit too sparkly and none of them have enough pigmentation so I wanted to get one that was kind of really good for neutral looks and also it could work with colours so this is really lovely the only problem I find is when you're looking in the store all the colours look so different because of the lights than when you bring it home so that's Arena this is a beautiful colour, it's called Tempting um, is this the um, Velux Pearl? no okay and this is the Lustre sorry I just had to check what it was because um, I forgot what that what the formula was called. Um, I know it doesn't say it on the back, but I knew it was the one I was thinking of, and I have Mythology, which is also a luster. So technically, there should be loads of fallout, and I should hate it, because everyone hates lusters, but it's not like that at all. It's so different when you apply it to how it looks in the tin. Like, it looks kind of gold, doesn't it? It's just a really lovely dark brown. And I think lots of the glitter's just on the surface. And then the last one isn't that exciting. In fact, I don't really need to take it out. And if this is carbon. And you know, carbon's black, so yeah, I needed to get a solid black because the ones I have don't blend very well and I was getting really fed up with trying to use black, but I used this today and it was really good. Okay, so I made these swatches with a Q-tip just to make it a bit more accurate. Um, this is carbon, obviously a matte black. This is Arena, and you can see it's kind of a lovely peachy, just a bit darker than skin tone colour. I think this would be great for a darker skin tone as well, like much darker than me. Right, this one is Club. So this is just a really small amount, you can see it's quite brown. And this is a lot of it, and when you turn to the side, it kind of shows that green colour. But I think, I don't know, but when you apply it wet, I think it's supposed to be different again. And then this is tempting, and it looks a bit light, but when you apply it to the eyes, it's actually a lot darker than this. And it's just a lovely dark brown. Sorry about that, the postman just came, and um, <sighs> I'm out of breath now, delivered me my Amazon package. And he like loved my dog, my dog is massive, and he was being like really cute. I've, I've ordered an organiser after watching... I think it's like Woodwinked X's video and she's talking about how she organised her life and basically I'm all out of breath. Um, I'm finding school really difficult at the moment because I've lost all motivation and um, I need to organise 
the work I need to do, the goals I've set myself. Um, so yeah, you could get to see an unpackaging or something. Because basically I need to sort it out, otherwise I'm not going to get the grades I want. Oh my god. Look, a £50 voucher for wine. My mum will love that. And £15 off the Sainsbury's online shop. Not too shabby. So, I bought this. And it's a leather binder as well. It's about £26 when you buy it in the store, but it was £12.50 online. I love how I'm just showing you this. I'll just do this now. This is fine. Actually, no, I should do it at the end. Let me get the makeup done. I'm excited for this now. Ooh, hopefully it'll give me some motivation. Right, um, colours, colours, yeah. So the tempting one. Absolutely gorgeous on the eyes. I love it. I really do love it. So, um, yeah, I'm very happy with my MAC. Um, yeah, I didn't, and I, oh, I have three other things to show you as well, so don't worry, that's not it. Um, okay, so I had 12 things to take back, which is amazing, because that's two lipsticks. And I, I'm always a bit hesitant to buy the lipsticks, but because they were free, like £26 worth of lipsticks, and that's amazing. I had 11 eyeshadow pots without the, um, pan in them, and they were fine with that, and then one foundation. So... They're quite similar, but not majorly, but I wanted to get myself some pinks because I don't really wear pink that much and I wanted to get some really nice wearable colours. Unfortunately, I don't have anything on at the moment because I've just come back from the gym and I'm kind of like sweaty and whatnot. So, I bought a cream sheen and I bought frost. I bought cream cup or creme cup, whatever, cream cup and bombshell. And I've heard of this one like between my friends and stuff, never heard of it online. And I've never heard of bombshell. So, I was quite excited because I saw them and I was thinking like, why don't people talk about these? They're amazing colours and I still definitely agree with my statement in the first place. So I'll show you cream cup first. Um, I'll just come in close so you can see the colour. So it looks like this. It's a lovely pink. I actually have Angel. I find Angel isn't very wearable for me. Ah, you see they're like practically the same colour, but you can see Angel's a bit darker. And Angel is a frost. I didn't know that. Um, okay, now it looks ridiculous because they literally look the same, but... Angel is a bit pinker, whereas Cream Cup is more of a nude, and that suits me more because Angel kind of, and it's not as kind as uh, glossy as this because it's a cream sheen, so I find it really difficult to wear. But I was wearing this today, and I really love it. It's really pretty. And the other one is Bombshell, and of course this is a pink as well. Sorry, it's focusing on my face. Um, and you can see that it's a frost, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a bit darker than the Cream Cup. That's why I like it, because I wanted to go a little bit darker, but it's still totally wearable. So, um, you can kind of tell by the sheen that it gives off that this one, this one's cream cup and this one's bombshell. So you can see it's just a bit of a darker pink, and I feel a bit silly showing you that you're all going to be like, oh, you've got exactly the same colours, but I really didn't. This is so, I've put it on quite thick as well. This is so sheer when it's on, like you can make it quite sheer, so it's really wearable. But this is lovely as well if you want to go a little bit brighter. So, um... I hope you understand that I didn't just buy the same colours because I, I really didn't. Okay, and then the last thing is probably the most beautiful piece of makeup I own. Um, actually, it does compete with my Body Shop bronzer because that's stunning. Oh my God, my room is such a tip. Everything is bloody everywhere. This is my Body Shop bronzer. I mean, come on, that is beautiful. Um, okay, this is a Dazzle Glass, and I know they're £16, which is freaking expensive, but I treat myself to them every now and then because they're my favourite lip gloss. And this is... Oh my god, I never drop my things. Okay. This is in Bare Necessity, and it's so beautiful. So it's like a nude colour, but it has gold, yellow, even like verging on greeny, but don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, greeny glitter. Um... And like the base colour is kind of a peachy nude and it's just so beautiful. It's so stunning, like as soon as I saw it, and it the good thing is it wears whereas it wears well as well. I didn't just buy it because of the colour, but God I hope you can see that because it's so beautiful and it goes really well with both of the lipsticks that I bought. So I'm just putting a little swatch on. I love how thick that dazzle glasses are. And it's this one here. And you can see it's peachy, it's um, glittery, oh, 
just love it. It's so beautiful, and I'm really happy. Um, I'm out of focus. I'm really happy that I got these products because I didn't spend like an, a major amount because I got a few of them for free. Oh, I just I just love them. Okay, so that's the like high end stuff, expensive things over. Actually, not really. Um, oh, I got the primer potion finally. Thank God, I finally got it. I felt so silly not having it for so long because my friend lost it and um, yeah I just haven't had it for ages sorry I'm just wiping all that off I haven't had it for ages I've just been I've just been lost without it because I've been using my paint pots but they're not as good at all like they crease within about five hours and oh, I'm just so glad to have it back Mwah. love it um, something I got free in my glamour magazine is this Clinique high impact mascara and it's a little one. It's amazing. I've been using it. I love the brush. It's quite a long brush, you can see. It's so good. It's incredible. It makes my lashes look fake. Literally, it's amazing. So um, maybe for my birthday next month, I might invest in that. Um, then it's all kind of drugstore stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I bought this bronzer. God, it smells amazing. It smells like vanilla. Oh, it's lush. It's by Bourjois, and it looks like chocolate. If you've seen pixie twoo or pixie two woo whatever um she's been using this and that really is what inspired me to use it because i'd seen a few other people use it but you know when you hear someone who like really is amazing at makeup and makeup artist they say something's good you're like it's definitely good and i really like this it's got a sh slight amount of shimmer in it but nothing crazy it's really nice and the packaging's really cute it's just like paper um i bought this which is much talked about maybelline new york gel liner and um, it's really cool packaging and it comes with a brush which is awesome because the brush is really good and um, trying to buy an eye eyeliner brush that works is really difficult so this um, it's in black it was six pounds I think this was about seven pounds um, and this was 12 so the eyeliner is really good better than my Mac one my Mac one I'll put it on and let it dry if I don't have any eyeshadow on especially within 30 seconds it's all over my eyes as well as because because I have um heavy eyes um, my lid kind of falls onto my lash line so I have major trouble I can't wear pencil liner on my lash line like that's a major no-no I need to get the shellac from benefit I've seen some good things about that but this works better so a little bit will kind of come onto my eye and I have to kind of rub it away but nothing like mac so <laughs> that's much better and once I get shellac everything should be fine um, another Maybelline thing is a lip gloss. I've been seeing a lot of things about this and I swear that the range in my boots has gotten bigger so I thought I'd pick one up and this is in number 622 Nude Pearl and you can kind of see what it's like. It's a nudie colour, it's really lovely. They're like seven, eight pounds, they're quite expensive. Um, and it's relatively sheer but it's a really lovely nude colour, kind of peachy nude can see that there so that's really lovely and yeah I like that a lot it's really nice um I went to number seven I bought this which S Walker Makeup recommended like god like a year ago and it's a skin illuminator because I had a five pound off voucher and it was three for two so I basically got like 15 pounds off or something which I'm totally fine with um and this is what it looks like and you can see like how it's radiating I mean the bottle is anyway and this one's in pink I think pink I think yeah it's in pink and it's a brush and uh, I don't brush it on because it would get all my foundation on it that would just be unhygienic I turn it and squeeze them out and then put it on my fingers like so I got too much on there and then I'll just give you a small swatch so basically it's like a very cheap high beam I don't think it's as good because I don't think it lasts as long but to be honest you're paying like half the price so who cares but number seven is not cheap, don't get me wrong. Oh my god, can you not see that? There, yeah, you saw it, there you go. So that's lovely on your the top of your cheekbones. I've got it on at the moment. Yep, so that's actually really nice. Um, I also bought a concealer for number seven, and this is in number two, Extra Fair. And it's kind of like a lipstick, like a pro long wear lipstick. And yeah, it works nicely, it's very silky very silky smooth the texture is lovely um, it gives quite good coverage 
you could build it up definitely. I'm not going to show you what it looks like, but when you rub it out, so it kind of goes to a powder formation, but it still gives good coverage. It's lovely. It's not as good as my MAC Studio Finish, but it's still really good. Like, once I lose the massive spots on my face, like the big ones that need a lot of coverage, I definitely just, just use that, really. I also got this from number seven. And this is the lipstick in Grace. And look at the packaging. How cute is that? It's really lovely. It's like flicked paint but it looks really kind of flowery and floral even though it's just like flip paint only thing is the packaging's a bit iffy like there's like fibers from the paper on the lipstick which doesn't impress me impress me at all um it looks like this so it looks quite red but it's not it's a very sheer kind of almost lip glo lip glossy type color you really could get this in a lip gloss um i'll just come in close I hope you don't mind the like clicking I have to do, but I just have to do that. And you can see it there, and it's lovely and glossy, and it's a really nice colour. Um, I'm actually just going to put some on now, so you can see what it looks like on, because I feel like a glossy colour. I need a mirror. Someone give me a mirror. Here we go, my Sunset Palette by Sleek. These mirrors are amazing. They're so big, you could just do your whole face in them. You can see it's like a glossy pink version of your natural lips. See, that's lovely. I do like it. It's £10 on its own, which I honestly think number seven is totally overpriced because it is not worth that amount of money. I mean, it's just kind of drugstore brand to me. The lips, the mascaras aren't even that good and I've had about three of them. But yeah, anyway. Um, I bought a Revlon, Revlon lipstick in um, blush and I really love the packaging. I've been missing out on these because I was trying to find a colour I wanted and I always end up buying really similar colours. It's really naughty of me. But this is a lovely colour and amazing packaging. I like that it says Revlon on it. You can see. And it's a really lovely, natural, just a bit darker than nude colour. Because I don't like nude nudes because when it washes me out it makes me look like I'm dead. But this is a <laughs> really nice, just extra lip colour. You know what I mean when it's just a little bit darker than your natural lip colour. But it just looks really full and beautiful. And you still look quite young and yeah. Something that I'm so happy I found. I didn't want to buy it online because I'm always scared of foundation colours. But when I went to Cribs... I went to Cribs and Cabot in one day. Is that a shopaholic? I think it is. Um, this is the Vichy. I'm going to say Vichy. I like saying v Vichy or Vichy. I don't like that. Vichy Derma Blend. And this one's in 15 Opal, which is the lightest one there is. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a good colour match for very light to light skin because it kind of attaches to your skin colour, if that makes sense. It's got good yellow undertones, which is brilliant for me. So, yeah, sorry if you don't. And this foundation is supposed to be made for women who have skin problems, like medical skin problems, that need covering. And yeah, it's supposed to give you amazing coverage. It says it's 25% more coverage than... Yeah, it's 25% coverage you can build up to, which is more than twice as much as the average foundation, which I can totally believe, because like this, I never use. Um, Dream Satin Liquid is <sighs> unreal. It's really, really bad. And um, yeah, this is a lot better. So I know when people are like, oh, you have to use so much of it, you, you don't need any of it. I don't really know. You just use as much as you need. Um, it's £14, which for someone who's into high end stuff would think that's cheap. For someone who's into drugstore stuff, you'd think that's expensive. It's right in the middle. So because it's better than drugstore, it's not expensive. And because it's better than. <laughs> Um, like department stores it's really cheap so honestly it's much better than my MAC stuff because that stuff is just so thick and paint like but when you rub it in it doesn't look cakey at all but it really just covers every single thing on your face say you need like a little bit of extra foundation um, sorry, a little bit of extra concealer here and there like when you have a big spot you, you must expect that but I'm pretty sure if you built it up you'd be able to get rid of nearly all of it it's so good I love the way it lasts, it lasts for ages without much, because I usually put foundation, like I end up at the end of the day with twice as much foundation as I put on in the morning because I have to keep topping it up, which really angers me. So I'm, I really, really love that. 
next thing is the primer palette by Sleek and um, now I nearly have all of their palettes. Yeah, so this one's for priming and I'm pretty sure it creases on its own. I'm not, I don't know, it doesn't look like it would hold up on its own, but over Urban Decay, it would give you really good color finishes. So I've kept this on because you can read the color here. So if you want to read the color, just kind of stop around here. And this is what it looks like. All of these wonderful colours, they're quite shimmery. I haven't tried all of them obviously, but I've tried a couple. And um, I'm really excited to use this. What's the black like? Oh, the black is amazing. <gasps> the black is black, black. Oh my god, sorry, I'm showing you up close without being up close. Look how black that is. That's matte black. And the white is a very shimmery colour. Um, I think the black is the only matte one. But look, see that blue is like a satin. Wow. That's extremely impressive. I like that a lot. I'm, yeah, I'm excited to use that. I've used it a couple of times, just like the creamy colours, and it just gives you an extra bit of shimmer on your eye, because I didn't want to get the Sin Urban Decay Primer Potion, because then I'd only ever <laughs> be able to have shimmy eyes. Um, I think that's it, guys. I love how I say that's it. Oh, look at all I got. I'm joking, obviously. I bought quite a lot. Um, this is over the course of about two weeks. And yeah, I'm loving it all. I'm enjoying myself. I love makeup still. I'm just totally obsessed. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, should we go back to the book? I hope no one minds this. Like, shut off now if you don't want to see this. It's fine. But I thought I might as well show you because I wouldn't make another video on it or anything. So this is a leather binder and it's called an organizer. Mmm, smells like leather. And it's by Collins. Oh, it's called the Balmoral Genuine Leather Organiser. Complete organiser system. So it has card things here, which I probably won't use because I have a wallet. Um, a little zip here to put things in, a little little pocket in here. Um, yeah. I haven't looked at this before, so you're seeing it with me. Refills and accessories. I think that tells you what's going on. Yeah, this is like what this book is about and it's a ring binder so you can pop it open and take your things out if you don't like it um personal details business details all little card slots here pretty sure you can buy extras for this so you can put in everything that you want this is your diary oh look there's a little ruler brilliant um international holidays yep so this is your diary where you can write your work because i get school work a lot and i hate the school planners um your notes these are all the notes, sorry, these are all the notes you can write. Uh, meetings, so unfortunately I don't have like a proper, proper job, so I don't really need that. But it's good for things like when you have a doctor's appointment or an optician's. Uh, haha, there's a to-do one, which is very good. And a world map, which is nice to see. As my dad's in India at the moment with work, lucky bugger. Um, things to do. This is really good, although I'd probably fill this up quite quickly. Um, international currencies, oh, ah, finances. This is something I need to work out. <laughs> I do work out like how much money I'm going to have, but I still spend it anyway. Um, and then telephone addresses, things like that. This basically has it all. Oh, and then, ah, there's a little notepad at the back that you can kind of rip out the pages if you want to write a note to someone. Preferably not in lessons, because that's naughty. Um, and then there's a little pen holder here. I'm very happy with this. I'm really hoping that it's going to help me, because I've... <sighs> Can someone... Right, if you have any ideas on how to motivate yourself, please tell me, because I have literally lost the will to live with school. I, I've i just had enough. I've, it's my last year now. I've been... You know, I've been at, t at school since I was four years old, but in secondary school and sixth form I've been there for like this is my seventh year seriously I've just had enough I've had enough of working I've had enough of revising <sighs> someone please give me some motivational talk because I'm literally on the verge of like I'd never I wouldn't give up but I do I would do really badly because I just don't want to do it anymore I'm not even interested I don't even like my subjects <sighs> that's a nice way to end a video isn't it 
give me motivation people come on right i hope you enjoyed my haul um and my little my little book that just came um please excuse the moaning i'm sorry um yeah love you guys bye